Hey guys, Jim at Rainwater Equipment here. I wanted to talk with you for a minute about this Pioneer model XL04 5,000 gallon water storage tank. This tank has a zinc aluminum alloy shell and it's got two panels here that uh, overlap one another. Uh, it's seven foot two inches tall. This one is 11 feet in diameter, uh, but Pioneer makes tanks ranging from 3,000 gallons all the way up to 65,000 gallons in their standard sizes. You can get custom sizes also uh, if, you, if you have a need for that. This one has a fascia, which is an uh, add-on to the product. It doesn't actually come with a fascia, but it hides the hills and the valleys of the roof sheets. Uh, and as you can see, you can't see the roof sheets. Um, the level gauge is shown here on a two inch steel pipe. This is called the Liquidator 2. It's a product made by Yak Tech out of Australia. And it slides up and down the pole to show you how much water you have in the tank. Uh, if, you, if you take a look here toward the bottom, you'll notice that there's a uh, river rock around the outside base. Now, it's not underneath the tank. The tank actually has uh, sand, mason sand, underneath. Uh, it has to be about six inches deep and a little larger than the diameter of the water tank. Inside the tank, there is a geotextile fabric that is hung from the inside walls of the tank, and the liner sits on that to protect it. This tank uses a five-layer Aqualina Fresh liner which is the first antimicrobial liner used in tanks like this in the world, which keeps your water fresher longer. Now, we'll step around here and I'll show you a couple of the outlet options that you can choose with this tank. The Pioneer tanks come standard with a two inch polyethylene outlet and ball valve. So what you'll do then is just connect this to your pump, unless you have the pump on the inside of the tank. But if you have the pump on the outside, You'll open the valve, it'll flood your pump, and this allows you to isolate the tank from the pump. Uh, in this case, this customer is going to run this water line to the uh, pump and then into this valve box so that they can flush toilets and run the shop sink inside the building. You'll also notice that there's a, a brass valve over here as well that's 2 inch. This one doesn't come sander with the tank, it's an add-on, and it allows you to uh, hook up to fire truck should you have a fire at your property and uh, they're able to access the water in the tank to help put out the fire. In many cases you can get a uh, refund or a discount on your insurance if you have one of these on your water tank on your property. You'll also notice that these tanks come standard with a removable ladder and there is a, an access hatch on top that has a, a sliding mechanism allowing it to slide back and forth and a lock uh, for a padlock so that uh, unwanted access uh, can be prevented. On the very top of these as well, uh, you'll see there's a 16-inch filter basket with a lid. The, the intent here is for uh, the customer to capture the rainwater off of the gutters into the downspout and run it directly into the top of this tank. That would be considered dry conveyance. If the, uh, the customer wanted to catch off the entire building, uh, they may want to use a wet conveyance rainwater system and run piping on all of the downspouts into the ground, uh, coming into one main trunk line and up and into the water tank. So that's the model XL04 from Pioneer. Holds 5,000 gallons, comes with a 20 year warranty. And uh, you can check these out on our website at rainwaterequipment.com or give us a call if you'd like to get a quote on a delivery and an installation at your property at 817 246 4567.